wander in from. You can't just walk in here, you know. This is where I live with my family. Ah, never mind. Might as well come in, I suppose. Well, come on. Come on in then. Come on. Might be your last chance, you know. Man, lighthouses will be rare as hen's teeth before long. But will there be second lighthouse getting automated? Shame. The end of an era, really. But sure, isn't that life, huh? Nothing stays the same forever. Not even Valencia lighthouse. Oh, cripes. I just realised. I never introduced myself, did I? Ah, till you have me hide. Tomas Heckwater Drake. Reporting for duty, sir. Principal lightkeeper at Cromwell Point. But my friends call me Kitty Wake. After the goal, you see. Cause I was a right little devil for climbing cliffs as a lad. I'd best be getting back to work. No time for slacking. Not with all the work that needs done to keep the light burning from dusk till dawn. Lord save us, I'm kept busy. Firing off rockets, sending up flares, and all to warn seafarers of dangerous waters. Oh, and sounding the foghorn. God, I love that sound. Oh, you think I'm strange, do you? Well, I take it as a compliment if somebody told me I had a voice like a foghorn, because God knows how many ships our foghorn has saved from shipwreck over the years. But coastal waters were a lot more treacherous before lighthouses, let me tell you. No surprise me banging on about ancient history when I'm practically a relic myself. Crikey, how long has it been? Lord save us. 48 years now I've kept watch. No wonder I look as weather beaten as this lighthouse. Life in a lighthouse could be pretty lonely. Cut off from your family. Not that Tilly and I didn't have our ways of keeping in touch. me back to the cottage on Valencia where Tilly had to stay while I was stationed on the Blaskets they had a window looking out the Blaskets and on a clear night you could see all the way out to Inch Tirot where the lighthouse was the night I left with the Blaskets I said Tilly a present for you and I gave her this Aldous lamp and then I left for Inch Tirot and I waited for a clear night Years later, when Jasper was a man grown, I asked him whether he remembered those nights watching at the window with his mother. And he said he did. Well, so I said, remember those flashes, because they were my love letters to your mother. They were kept us together when we were miles apart. I often wonder, when I got down on one knee to ask her to marry me, did she know what kind of life she was signing up to? Lightkeepers had their families with them on offshore lighthouses back in the early days. Because raising kids on an island is no picnic, let me tell you. Good God, I know keepers whose children were killed in falls and drownings. Thankfully, Tilly and I never lost any of our new ones to the sea. But we still put down some sleepless nights, with Cass our eldest for instance, when her appendix burst. Even normal illnesses were a great concern. Near 10 miles from shore, in severe weather, with little possibility of early relief. Ah, uh, so don't ask me, was it worth it? Ask Tilly. I'd like to think she'd say yes. Because this way of life, it has a way of getting under your skin. Right, I'm off to the terror now to rewind the optical rotation machine. Make a mess while I'm gone, and I'll have you cleaning the lantern glass before you know it hits you. Or cleaning the rocks and seaweed. And you, yeah, you, you with the head in you. There's rocks out there full of seaweed with your name on them. Don't think I won't put you on shore duty.